a lot. <laughs> Do T2? Hmm. Oh, I have two of them. Holy shit, I could craft the other one while I have the other. That's sick. I don't have to go over it, uh, T4. I hit T1 Chaos. <laughs> yeah. What's the third fucking lightning res? T5. You could change this to any res you want. Except Chaos, obviously. <laughs> oh, T3? This is hilarious. Oh shit! 25 flat oh move speed 71 life? <laughs> no, no. What do you want? Aug defense. Faster start of energy. This item cheap my defense. He doesn't believe it. He thinks it's shit. I am streamer. The game report. Some golem guy. And minions. Yes! Yes! Just don't question my stupid items, please. I, okay, he's flaming me, dude. He's like, this item shit! Okay, don't, man. Just fucking play. Just do it. I pay. Confirm. I pay, I pay. Where's his stash? I need 130 extra. Jesus, that was funny. He knew me. He knew me, dude. <laughs> Look at his name. <laughs> I said it, dude. I knew. I called this. T1! Holy shit, 38! Get fucked! Yes! Yes! It's insane! Dude, he looked at the boot and said, This is shit! He actually said, This is shit! No way, man. How could you think this is shit? <laughs> No problem. It's <laughs> an Eldritch and Null. I have Searing Exarch greater, the other one lesser, so it should remove a prefix. Again, read it. Is dominant. Remove a prefix. We got it. Okay, it can't be more clear. Boom. Suffixes cannot be changed. Veiled Chaos Orb. Suffixes cannot be changed. They can't be changed. It's, we're safe. Boom. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's so insane. What? Craft life every time. I look. I looked at every fucking boot. It just put life on it. I was like, ah. Okay, here we go. I want... Move speed. Or mana. Otherwise, oh no, dude, it has to be. There's no way. It's always, it's like guaranteed move speed. Boom. That's, that's okay. Then, uh, you can see this boot. So we, I redid it though. Uh, I did suffixes can't be changed and redid the veiled chaos orb and I hit rarity and then I did the veil again and I got move speed cannot be chilled. Uh, I didn't keep the haste. Uh, I wanted to try for a different one. We got this. I wanted to try to get the extra move speed when you haven't been hit. Um, and then I crafted armor and ES because it had pretty good base ES and the flat ES was only like 20, but the increased is more. Yeah, and then the armor. Um, oh, I should probably have evasion and ES. I, I crafted it wrong. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and then, so, so you can see uh, the implicits. I was able to roll searing exarch and I only used greater because... I tried it by Grand and the guy gave me Greater I didn't notice, he scammed me, and then I rolled it on my thing and I actually hit it and I didn't want to re-roll it just for one second. So in this build it has one, three second brittle. And then uh, the the real one that I did though before, don't worry about the Searing X search, I just got carried away there. Um, we were rolling Eater of Worlds, and so if you don't know what this is, is uh, these influence. And I would be rolling Grand Eldritch Icor. And then I rolled the boot. 
and uh, I rolled that implicit for chance to avoid elemental ailments, and it was a grand, not perfect. And then you're like, how do you get it to perfect? So the thing I learned is uh, orbs of conflict are really cool. I like to roll grand because it's really cheap compared to exceptional. Exceptional is really expensive, and it's just cheaper to do orbs of conflict and gamble. So um, what you would do here is get the grand of the avoid elemental ailments, and then at one time I was trying to do lesser searing exarch instead of doing another grand and then someone said the orb of conflict is weighted so it says really at the, at the bottom in fine print the chance of raising or lowering a modifier depends on its relative strength oh so you need them both to be as high as possible to increase your chance so actually if you let's say you had grand avoid elemental ailments and you put an exceptional you would really increase your chances of the grand because it's the lesser it's the shittier one it, it'll basically be higher chances to improve the lower one and it'll get worse and worse the bigger the gap is so you want them to be as close as possible but obviously if you're going for perfect uh, basically, the tiers are like this. Uh, that's six, um, and then grand is like f three, uh, and so there's a lot of tiers, and exceptional is four. So, obviously, if you use a tier f three and you use a tier one, it, it has higher chance of raising the tier one. But if you do two tier threes, it's a 50-50. If you do a tier four and a tier three, it's higher to raise the tier three, but at least it's better than if you did a tier one. Do you see what I'm saying? So you should waste a higher tier um, Searing Exarch when you're trying to raise the Eater of Worlds. And then it would increase your chances of getting this perfect by using like Exceptionals of Searing Exarch, for example, just for one go. to increase Because these are expensive, like 28C. So this whole, this, this boot, big thing about these crafts is increasing your chances of Orb of Conflict is so cool. And so you want them to be relative to each other like close to each other or even have the other one higher so that you have higher chances of improving the one you actually want um obviously when you're going for perfect then there's going to be a gap no matter what but you can make the gap as little as possible by using an exceptional and then you can re-roll it at the end uh the the searing exarch to exceptional um or grand like, this was supposed to be grand, but it's greater. You can roll it after you get the perfect of the other one. And then I'll show you this boot with the avoid elemental ailments, 35 and the 32. This is a 67% chance to avoid elemental ailments. Um, and also with the chest plate, so just 33%. Uh, and you're going to be uh, immune to elemental ailments in literally three mods. What the hell? Uh, it's pretty cool. And this was that was in essence. And this was... Um, the June unveil. Uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool combo. And uh, I wanted to finally... I, I was supposed to mention this in the chest plate because we did this for the aura effect. Now that we know that you can increase your chances of re using the orb of conflict correctly by using higher tier um, implicits. Yep, pretty cool. So don't be using lesser for your orb of conflict. Use that as higher tier as possible to increase the odds. Especially when going for the really, really high ones because it's so expensive and the odds are so bad and it, you could in, you increase it quite a bit. Um, yeah, this boot was really fun to craft. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, it was really cool to actually use because we got the uh, full elemental ailment immunity. We have the spell suppression, spell suppression, spell suppression. In just these three pieces, we were 90% spell suppression. Uh, we have the ES recharge rate on both of them with the augment defense. It was 4x, and uh, and we have both the essence, and we have the double good, cool implicits. It's such it's so cool. These new items are insane. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Let's get 49 likes on this video in one day. Thank you guys for all the support, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.